Hi guys, so for a while now I've been making the Her Starts uh, terrain for uh, my gaming group and um, up to this point I've been experimenting with how to make it and how to uh, paint and putting together different uh, color schemes. And so far I've got uh, enough material now or enough uh, terrain to put together a, a good sized dungeon, um, but I've been making it just piecemeal without really any set goal in mind, just trying to create enough floor space and walls to be able to build some rooms. So what I thought I'd do uh, next and to record a video about is to cover the um, the Hearst Arts project on the on the Hearst Arts website, which is uh, an inn that you can make using uh, some of the Hearst Arts material. So he goes through in on the website and gives you explanations on how to uh, build everything um, using all the different molds that you need. Um, but I only have two molds. I only have the uh, cracked earth floor tile and the fieldstone wall molds. So I'm going to be making some modifications to the to the uh, project. So for the project, um, you're going to need um, it's it's got eight rooms and hallways, and so I've gone ahead and, and pre-cut out the the foam board. Um, you need one piece that's uh, four inches by eight inches, and this room is meant to hold uh, tables and and chairs um, for booths. It's called. Um, you need a piece that's six by eight, and that's referred to as the great room. It's a, it's a room, a common area with tables and chairs. Um, another six by eight room that's meant to be the kitchen for the inn, and that's got um, uh, fireplaces and um, and uh, things you need to operate a kitchen, I guess. And then the largest room is eight by eight, and that's supposed to be the bar, and um, that's got a obviously a bar and, and more seating area for patrons. There's a bunch of hallways that you need as well, and uh, so you need four of each of two by six piece hallways, uh, two by four hallways, and then four two by two hallways. Uh, an optional piece, or it's it's considered optional by me anyway, is to include a balcony, and that's if you're doing multi multi tier um, um, a multi tier setup for your inn. So a, a two by eight piece of uh, that's meant to act as a balcony. And then you've got five other rooms that are all four by six. And one is meant to be a cellar. And then there's four guest rooms, I guess. And on the website, he identifies each one by its purpose or its uh, designation, um, different um, des design characteristics about the room. So he's got a hobbit bedroom, uh, one that's referred to as the office, um, a bedroom with a recessed arch, and a bedroom with a large window. So. I don't think I'm necessarily going to be following that to a T. I'm going to be uh, using what supplies I have and uh, coming up with my own um, design or decoration motif. So I've been casting um, lots of walls. Um, I'm figuring to put walls on all four sides of each of the rooms. I'm going to need probably between 50 or maybe even 60 castings of my wall uh, mold. And for flooring, um, since the mold that is recommended in the project is the mold that um, makes the floor look like it's wooden, um, I don't have that mold, so I'm just using the cracked earth um, floor tiles for a certain portion of the of the inn, and you'll see which portions of those are, uh, which ones those are coming up. Um, but for my purposes, I only need 32 um, plaster tiles because I'm going with a, a slight alteration to the to the project for the rest of my flooring and that's basically to use these uh, wooden tongue depressors basically they're, they're um, large popsicle sticks that you can get at the dollar store they just happen to be uh, one inch wide so with uh, a miter saw and a miter box I was able to um, make floorboards basically so I took uh, put a, a groove into a series of these cut the ends off and as it happens, they um, they work it to be a maximum length of seven inches, which uh, happens to be the longest piece I would need to um, to decorate the uh, the large room, the eight by eight room. So instead of using the plaster tiles for the wooden floorboards, I've broken down what I've needed for the entire inn, and you need uh, 16 pieces that are seven inches long. Uh, eight pieces that are six inches long, 13 pieces that are five inches long, 12 that are four inches long, 
10 that are two inches long and uh, there's a room that needs a trap door so you need a, a one piece that's one inch long and um, I'm going to probably use plaster tiles the half inch size plaster tiles to uh, cover off on the entrance ways to um, to the rooms the doorways and to strengthen the floorboards because the popsicle stick isn't that isn't that strong and to hopefully prevent it warping when it's when it's painted um, and glued down to the foam board I've gone ahead and glued popsicle sticks to the bottom of the tongue depressors to give it some strength and uh, give it some thickness so hopefully that will uh, hopefully that will work out and for the accessories that we're going to fill the in um, I made a, a couple of exchanges over the past little while um, with Ben from Ben's RPG Pile and he's uh, uh, gladly sent me some material they're going to be able to use to outfit the inn and so I've already gone ahead and tried to or begun start building some of the fireplaces I'm going to need just using some of the material that he sent me there's one there's another one I've got the little um, plaster fire um, piece that, that will actually go in the fireplace there's a larger one it's going to be in the great room, perhaps, or maybe in the kitchen. I haven't decided yet. And then a whole bunch of other bookshelves, and, and these are um, pieces that you can put together from separate pieces. These large tables here, for example, the bottom is a basin, and the top is the back side of the circular door that's meant to be a hobbit door. So if you glue those together and glue the basin to it, you get yourself a table. And I've got a bunch of desks. There's a desk with a lectern on it. And there's a circular half table that can go up against the wall. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of other material, a bunch of little pieces that are going to be used to accessorize the bar. And here's a closer look at the floorboards. Again, I just took a miter saw and measured out one inch lengths and, and just scratched a little groove in there just so um, the tile will appear as, as one inch. And uh, to give it some strength and rigidity, I've glued some um, popsicle sticks to the back. And that will hopefully prevent the, um, the piece from warping or, or uh, bending too much when I glue it down to the foam board and when I uh, paint it. The design also calls for um, levels where you can build yourself a set of stairs. I haven't qu quite yet decided how I'm going to do that. I've got um, stairs built already that are just made out of the cracked earth floor tiles. But when I've wanted multiple levels, I've gone ahead and um, just used these uh, pipe connectors that are um, available at any hardware store. The design on the website calls for making pillars out of the Hearst Arts material, which you know may or may not be um, helpful. So I'm going to try using that first. You can buy them at various links. and. Um, and so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and, uh, and do that. Um, check back again um, real soon with, uh, with an update to the project, and we'll see you soon.